There's Marty with a mask. <laughs> Me, oh. <laughs> Me with a mask. Because these are different times for him now. <laughs> this is the year 2020, where they locked us down with a pandemic here. All right, so, but we are, believe it or not, at a haunted place. And it's a big old mansion. It's called the Oakland Mansion here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Oh boy. It's be spooky. It's be real spooky. Pumpkins, lights. It's a big pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's menacing. Oh, that's spooky looking. Look at that. That is creepy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, two skeletons inside there. Do you have a mask on inside? Do you have a pulmonary mask? You're good. You don't need them. Oh, okay. They're not required tonight? No. Oh, they're not required. So Sally was her name? Sally was her name. Her portrait hangs up in the dining room. Sally and Rachel are the two ladies of the house. And uh, Sally is the original builder. It, her father was actually Colonel Harvey Murphy, which Murphy's girl's named after him. Okay. Oh, cool. And so, so this is actually her inheritance, and one of her many inheritances. But um, hmm. so basically, she was here from. Let's see, she was born in 8, 1796, and she passed away in 1857. She was here in 1857. Her husband was Dr. James Manning, and then the next lady, which is her daughter-in-law, is Rachel, and she was here. I'd say she moved in probably shortly after the Civil War. I think it was like 1872, about, that she moved in, and she was the last main family to live here. So, so both of their portraits hang in the hall, it's in the dining room. Cool. Some of them die in this house? Yeah. Yes, there has been many. Yes, there, there was a cholera epidemic in the 1830s and then again oh, okay. in the 50s. So, no we've had pandemics here. We've had um, yeah. Mr. Roberts, Riley Roberts. He was found by his son in this room, that first room you go to walk into, and that was in 1936. So, okay. yeah, there's been a couple of them that we know of for sure pass away. But um, there's a late, there's a... Um, that hallway I was telling you about, when you go up the stairs, you'll see all kinds of portraits on the wall, and there's okay. actually a, a, drawing type, a, a photo of the deceased child, and she passed away here as well. Okay. Lavinia was her name. So. Yes, and that nice. was 1863, I believe. I feel like, look in the hallway, there's all kinds of little things you can check out and get a little bit of a history before you go into the room. Yeah. Okay. If you do catch something, you sure to come back and, and yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, especially Zell <laughs> Fletcher. Okay. The first gentleman you'll meet. All right. All right, now I'm recording. All right, we're inside. We just walked in. If you're interested, it's pretty simple. Uh, we don't have anything for you to mark down these items, but basically we're going to trust this system here. So it's the same as all smaller, not real Oh, I see. It has beautiful windows. Look at that room, huh? A lot of yeah, that's a cool room though, huh? It's very cool. I love the wallpaper. This is beautiful too. The bookshelf that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Books are you know, protected against us. This is where stainless glass, stainless uh, windows were. Yes. Yes. Is there a chimney here? Yeah. It, was, it used to be a library. Nice. Well, part of it, it was part of mourning, M O U R N, you know, you mourn the dead. Yeah, it was just, and they would keep it for a certain number of weeks. I remember my mom saying, her mom, they had, mm -hmm. they would, 
Well, well I mean, there's some, the house some families that still do it. Yeah. yeah. You're talking know. about how the lights come out when mm -hmm. I know in Ireland they still do it. Oh, well. If someone dies at home, they still yeah. cover yeah. all the well, mirrors. Well, I hear a lot about that. If you have an old piece home, mm -hmm. always make sure you kind of get it, you know, frayed yeah. over whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Have a good one, sir. Dr. Manny's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now, the section of the house, the room you're standing in right now, was actually originally the first section of the house built. Uh, the, the house was built as a single room cabin back in 1818, 1820. And they just really kind of expanded it from there. For instance, that section was added in the 1840s. Uh, the hallway and the rooms across the hall were added in the 1820s. Is this like a salt house or what do they call them? The salt? Uh, no, this is a federal style. Federal style, okay. Well, it, this back section is federal, the front's Italianate. Okay, the facade is an Italianate facade. So it's kind of a kind of a renovated renovated federal style is what it would be. Okay. Very nice. Place. I haven't seen anything, but I've heard plenty. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'm sure if you're here alone. I spent some time alone in here. Have been in here alone a lot. Have you? I've had oh. doors open on me. Oh. I've had. I was walking through that door right. That doorway right there. Uh huh. And that door handle. Still really? doing that. Well, you've had stuff happen. Well, I haven't seen anything. You just heard it. So you didn't. You just and heard there yourself. Are times I walk in this house. And it's just like walking in my apartment. And then there are other times I walk in, and the second I step in, it's like somebody's just standing yeah, I know right behind feeling. me. You know, just following yeah. me through the house. Wow. Yeah, you can feel a presence, right? Mm-hmm. The hair on the back of my neck will stand up. I've heard footprints, walked into cold spots. I've walked into spots 10, 20 degrees colder than the rest of the house. And it's a weird thing when you walk into a room yep. and you start seeing your breath. Oh, well that's, yeah, that's pretty cold. That is a weird thing. Did he die in this room? Do what? Did he didn't die in this room, did he? He died in this room. He did? Mm hmm oh, Okay. That's not the bed. That's not the bed, bed, but it would have been. But he died in this room. People, they weren't such things possible, so people did that all the time. Yeah, I would, I would say, there's probably close to 20, 25, probably 20, 25 people died in this house. Over oh, that's a, okay. Which one that is? Probably that chills. I look over here? there. Yeah. Oh, this is the part that's pretty spooky, right? Yeah. The staircase. <laughs> oh, good. Are you, are you sensitive? Yeah. Yeah, that's the place. <laughs> if you're going to see anything, you'll see it on that staircase. And do me a favor. Go up on the, up the staircase. Have him go behind you. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> oh, so I don't get pushed? Do what? <laughs> Do what? Okay. So you don't get spooked? No, so you don't get pushed down the stairs. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Did you look in the dining room, huh? No. Hey, how are you guys doing? Come on in. They said, it, she said stuff goes on in here. In this dark dining room. Oh, it's not as beautifully set up. I wish I could see. Let me get my uh, infrared out. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. My, my flashlight isn't that good. Nice. It looks like another one of those, uh, well, we keep uh, glasses and dishes and stuff over here. 
Mm -hmm. I believe it's called a... Oh, the word escapes me now. It's like a cabinet, almost like a... Like I have. Oh, and it's uh, triangle shaped. It's real pretty. Look at this little ticket on everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold it like that because my camera didn't take it the first time. That's pretty cool. You want to go up? Yeah, but so it's so I don't get the bush. You go first. I can see why you'd be spooked with, with those uh, dolls. It's a boy's bedroom. Those are creepy dolls, yeah. Both of them. Look at that rocking horse. Who's here? Did you hear that? A voice says, Mommy. There were no kids around the area, and besides me and Marty, there was only an adult male in the hall at that moment. This does not sound like the voice of the living. This occurred between the boys' and girls' room. I will repeat it next. It's just a bell. 
Yeah. Yes. Ooh, look at that dot right there. Look at this one. Yeah. You can see it here. The ideal beauty. Little dollies in here. Who's here? What little children are in this room? Little Sally? Who's here? Sleepy girl. Sleepy little girl. Sleepy little girl.
Those other rooms were too good. I had to go. Sorry. Really? Yeah, I ran out of it. I know I Where'd abandoned you, you but. Um, Where'd you go? This? I'm paying attention. There's a rat right there. Hi, buddy. Rats. Poles. Um, now we just need to find a pump. I know. So cool. Wow. That is. I feel like I need one of these. Yeah. Okay. Details are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Anytime you see the wide planks, yeah. those are the original hard pine floors. The little narrow boards date to the turn of the century. That became the new style in flooring. So the families that bought the home from the Manny's wanted to update it. Mm -hmm. You gotta look in here. Oh, gorgeous. Well, let's just take it. Let's go walk these stairs and see. These are wider too. So. They're uh, probably built later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the railings and everything are rich production. The staircase itself is original. But, uh, the staircase is original, but. The staircase is original, but these were recreated from the original railings and spindles. Okay. They say they were able to find their well. The home was vandalized really heavily. Was it abandoned for a while? It was abandoned for several years. Wow. So. You know, so Local teenagers and homeless people and just tore the place. I mean, wow. It's amazing what the old the old photos we have of what it looked like before they were. Oh my gosh, it's a good thing, thing you have them. But, uh, yeah. What, 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 do you know what time period is abandoned? 
I'm sorry. Do you know what time period it was abandoned? Uh, from the, in the 1950s, like 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 55 years. Okay. During the 50s, up to the beginning of the 1960s, when it became a museum. Wow. Yeah, it's one of the Oh, no. Where are you? Oh. Did we? We didn't see this part, did we? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Oh, look, it's old.
picture I've seen before, they're like a standard, you know, servant woman. Ooh, look at the eyes on this guy. Very expressive. Is this hair? Yeah, this is hair. That was so morbid when they used to take people's hair and make decorations out of them. You think it's hair? That's what they used to do. This one doesn't look like hair though. But a lot of times they would do that with hair. This one doesn't look like it. No. Oh, sorry. I'm just shining your eyes. Yeah, look, I don't think that one has hair in it. Oh, it doesn't? It doesn't look no. like it, but I've seen a lot of places yeah. where they... No, no, that was always morbid to me. <laughs> now that's really crazy. That's what I'm there's, there's some over there, too. Some. Isn't that neat? It was so wild. So they would, like, save their hair brush hair and make them out of it. These are all... Oh, there's a Um, we oh, really like the place. Why do you have to come back when it's really dark? I know. It's kind of neat doing it in the dark, too, but yeah, the daytime it's a whole different thing. Yes. Is this real photos of family now? Yes. It is? Yes. Oh. The photographs here in the middle are Louis and Adelaide uh, these are some of their children, and then a few photographs of a few generations after them, uh, all the way up to just within the last year or two. Oh, I've seen this guy on the wall somewhere. Yes, you probably saw him upstairs. Upstairs. Uh, right next to the old bedroom. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> She's got some eyes on her. Huh? Yeah, she looks intense. Yeah. I imagine she does. Oh, look at that. I just saw that. Wow. She looks like she's had a really, really hard life. Uh oh, boy. This is another one getting a little bit after the Civil War. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, it's a good picture. That's the same. Passing on to Adeline, the daughter of law, the son. Because Liz was pretty sickly. Uh, and so oh. she actually ran the plantation um, and saw it through the Civil War. Wow, well, no wonder she looks like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, and these are the of the McKnight family. So they, they can trace so their it's... genealogy back to slavery here at Oakland. Wow. Uh, their ancestor is Dave Manning. Uh, he was enslaved by Dr. James as a black man. Wow. So he worked here on the plantation as a black man. Um, and then after the Over Civil here. War, uh, he stayed here in Murfreesboro. He became one of the first deacons of First Baptist Church uh, that the African Americans established. Uh, this photograph that you see here uh, is some of the deacons of the First Baptist Church that the was established. Uh, we're not sure which one is Dave. Uh, but then some of the other photographs that you see are of his kids, Luke and Ada. Uh, and the other photographs that also trace his genealogy through the generations up to today. And this family is still living here in Murfreesboro. Wow. Awesome. What is oh. this? This is the only surviving piece of wallpaper that we have that's original to the house. Oh, this is. Really detailed. Yes. They must have had money when they did this. Absolutely. The Manis were one of the wealthiest families living here in Murfreesboro. Oh, that's got gold colored on the top. Yeah. 
likely that this would have been part of the first uh, addition to the house. Uh, so it was probably part of the 1824 renovation. Oh, back in 18... Oh, okay. Like some of the stairs... Up, uh, the floors upstairs are 1824, I heard. It's probably painted. So. Yeah. So sad about the vandals, you know? Well, it was abandoned. It's gonna happen. I believe that's another original piece. This right here? I, saw this I believe so. Immediately. That's really yeah, I love that sun up there. It looks like it's seen some times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you light up? I, I didn't see that sun before. You didn't see that? Do you need any extra light on these stairs on your way down? No, I didn't. Alright. I just take my time because I have a bad name. <laughs> no, that's fine. I just, I know these stairs can get kind of dark, so I just always ask to make sure. I'm not sure. I tried to position the light just right, but it just never did. It actually works. This is going to go off when you walk through. This is it. Oh, yeah. I figured that. Look at the floors. The floors are all different. There's photos here. Wait, wait. There's photos. She's not going off, huh? Alright, she's not going off. Okay. I'm right by her. Yeah, there's some old photos here. Look at it. Wow. It's 1930. This one's 1935. Alright. 1930 inside. Wow. Oh, it's not Look in this room. A bunch of pictures on the table here, too. Oh, here's an abandoned. Here's the stair. Now I see where the railings were missing up there. With the original stairs. Yeah, there's Bandon right there. Look at that. Wow. 1958. There's pictures in here where it was you see how deteriorated it was. Look at the stairs. Remember you said the rails were missing? Yeah. You see now why? Wow. There it is right there. Wow. Look at it. I know. Wow. There's pieces of the place too. There's pieces all burned down and everything. There's little actual pieces left here. It's like stone. It's like some slate me and wood. Why 
1910. The guest of George and Kent B. Dara. Well, it said something about a cellar. I saw a thing in there about cellar. Yeah, this is the cellar. This is probably the cellar right here. <laughs> Check that out. I mean, you know. Little skeletons. Aside from the <laughs> plastic skeletons. <laughs> it's really creepy. It's giving me the chills. <laughs> trying to see. Yeah, it goes down a little ways. Oh, yeah. It's like you can crawl space underneath there. There's a person down there. Two people. Here's a cellar right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's locked. This is definitely an addition. This part, all the wood part, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, we were just in that last. Into the picture that, oh, look at those cracks. Oh, yeah. There used to be windows right there, look. Right yeah. All right, got Olympus going again. And just started on a new recording card and another battery in the 4K infrared or full spectrum in this case. So let's walk around a little more. The Oakland, Oakland Mansion. No, I can't say I've seen anything per se, but sometimes you go back and you see things that the captures on the camera film that you don't see with your eyes or... Orbs and stuff. Well, Orbs no. are right. Yeah, that's my sometimes least favorite thing, but yeah. I'll take that. You know, a lot of times it can be dust or bugs or something too, but... But I like it when I get like, like an apparition or shadow figure. One of the th I say that I've never seen anything in the house. That's not exactly true. There have been times where I've caught peripheral movement. Yeah. Out of the corner of my eye, I would see. I, this has happened more than once where I've seen the back of a skirt disappear around a doorway right before I turn my head and look at the doorway. Yeah. Things like that. That's when I've you want a camera. You wish you have a camera at that point. Yeah, cameras are good at catching those. Mm -hmm. But you can't have it always running. Yeah. Uh, 
but I, I, I was giving a tour once, and I was standing at the uh, little staircase that leads up to the upper hall right there, yeah. and I had my back to the upper hall, and I was talking to the group. Face, I was facing the cantilevered staircase that goes downstairs, and there were three couples, each of them from a different state, and I'm giving my little spiel, and one of the gentlemen in one of the couples had a camera, and he picked up his camera and just started taking pictures. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I didn't think anything about it. That's what they do. It's a tourist place. Right. People take pictures. So we finished the tour, and we were all standing in the gift shop, and one of the ladies from one of the other couples, she said, I have a question. I said, okay. She said, who are the two little boys that were running in the upper hall behind you? And the man said, that's what I was trying to get pictures of. And I said, what? She said, there were two little boys. I could, she said, they were ghosts. I could kind of see through them. And the man said, oh no, to me, they were as solid as you two guys standing there. Yeah. And none of the other people in the group saw it. Wow. Yeah. None of the other four people saw it, just those two. And the weird thing about it is, there are typically three spirits that people see here. They'll see Sally, they'll see another lady in a blue dress that we haven't identified that typically is staring through one of those windows. Or they see two little boys playing with each other. And they said that's what they were. It was like these two little boys were just chasing each other. She said uh, uh, they ran into one room, out of it into another, and when they were running back, the little boy behind had his hand reaching out like he was trying to grab Thank them you. and they were both laughing. <laughs> awesome. Maybe it's between the boys' room and the girls' room and up I, there? No, it was between those two rooms right there. Oh, okay. Now those two boys are the only boys. Now Sally never shows up in this part of the house. Oh. Because it postdates her death. Oh, she, was, she wasn't in the original or the earlier part. She was like Yeah, she's 18. in the back. 1850s or later? She died in 1857, and this section of the house wasn't built until 1858. Okay. No, she actually died in 1854. 54? Uh, and this section of the house wasn't built until 1858, so she never shows up here. Okay. She shows up in the back. Yeah, it didn't exist yet, though. And it's <laughs> interesting because two or three times a year, you know, we always have people who say, I'm sensitive, and they go through the house, and they'll pick out a room, and they'll say, oh, it's... Mm -hmm this room is the center of the activity or whatever <laughs> you know but they move. but they move. but no i'm going to tell you something two or three times a year and it could be separated by months we'll get people who come in who don't make a big deal about it and they'll talk about invariably they'll talk about the same place i'm not going to tell you what that place is They'll talk about the same, and it's almost like they're speaking from a script that they have memorized. Mm -hmm. And when you have two or three people separated by months and miles, they're never, you know, they're from all over the country, and they say the same thing, it's hard to hear something like that and go, ah, you know, yeah. Oh, that's coincidence. <laughs> you know, now most of the time, I just kind of, okay, whatever, especially if they talk about this front of the house. Uh, uh, because one of the things these people always say, oh, the front of the house is happy. Uh -huh. They'll say the front of the house is happy. There's not a lot that goes on here, but the back. Well, there's that, some, the girls' room, the, the first. Well, the back is the oldest the part, right? The girls' room. room. That, I try to get out of that room really fast. That's <laughs> that back corner back there. Yeah. That back staircase. Right before that the staircase. The girls' room and the boys' room. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I, just, I had to get out of there. That's the place that everybody talks about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I felt some... It had some yeah. some I felt like I wasn't alone, let's put it that way. That's the place that everybody talks about. And typically, if you're gonna see anything, you're gonna see something in that back hallway. We've had we've had shows approach us, but that's not the kind of publicity we really. A lot look of places at. are like that. Museums. I've done places, 
uh, you know, I've dealt with historical societies. They let me do it, and then then a different person takes over, and they don't want that haunted history. They want just the history only. Yeah. And they don't want to take away from that. Sometimes it could complement the history of the place, but it all depends. And you know, you get some crazy. You know, you don't like. All right, it's getting out of hand. People come here just for that. But. Well, see, one of the most haunted houses in Murfreesboro is just down the road, the Bell House. It's the Bell House. Oh yeah. You go down about two or three blocks, and it's the biggest house on the block on the street. It's right oh, on the, the corner. Left. I saw that. It's got the eyebrow dormers. Yeah, we yeah, saw we that. Saw yeah. That. Uh, That's like I, a private. I went to high school with grew up in that house. Okay. And she used to tell me, "You couldn't pay me to spend the night there." <laughs> but the Bell family, uh, the News Journal wanted to do an article on the house. On yeah. Halloween, the Bell family said, certainly not. No. They still <laughs> own it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now the the Hollands owned it, but in the 70s and the 80s, when uh, uh, my friend Darcy lived there. Now Darcy would talk about this little girl that she played with, that lived in the Invisible house. Invisible friend. <laughs> and <laughs> and well, girl I, you know, Darcy. It, Darcy was kind. Of, Darcy could tell a story. She's a natural storyteller. And so I asked her mom once, I'm like, Ann, Darcy used to tell me stuff about, it. and Ann would say, I'll tell you this. Sometimes I would go up to Darcy's room to bring her down to dinner or to get her to take a bath or whatever. And I would hear her talking and I would hear somebody else's voice answering. And when I went in the room, Darcy was the only one in there. So yeah, like a perfect car. Kids car have living. a really natural ability to say And things. Darcy said that there's a little boy that lives in the house. And she used to ask her friend, why don't we play with him? And the little girl would say, no, he's bad. And whenever he showed up, that's when things like dishes would fly off the shelves. Ooh. Yeah. Things would fall over. Things, oh. car keys would disappear. Oh, those are bad. Things like that. Uh, yeah, and, the, and Darcy said the little girl would be, this little spirit would be terrified. No, he's bad. What's, what's in there? I saw somebody just go into that place right there. That other building right there. That's not even from this plantation. That's from the Lytle plantation. Oh, okay. Uh, that was across town. That was transferred here. Oh, it was moved here, okay. Yeah, it was moved here. As far as we know, there's no activity in that place. It's old though, too, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was part of the, uh, they think it was maybe the overseer's office for the old William Lytle plantation. Now, right. William Lytle was the man that uh, deeded the first 63 acres of Murfreesboro uh, back in 1811. Okay. Uh, he had a huge plantation <laughs> off Broad Street. I saw the Lytle. Uh, Oh, road or whatever, a street. Yeah, I live on Lytle Street. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the main thoroughfares in Murfreesboro. Are we all closed up in there, Jesse? I think is the skeletons in the window still on. Still upstairs, on. it is. It is. It okay. is upstairs. It's just that because yeah. James didn't know how to turn it off. <laughs> It'll stay on all night, I guess. Yeah. It's like Pumpkinhead. Yeah, exactly. Like. It does look just like Pumpkinhead. I'll tell you something. Good movie. I like it. You want to film in the windows? Yeah. Go to the back. Yeah. Let's go through there. Oh, all right. Well, you said the back's scary. Let's do that. All right, get going. All right, let's do it real quick. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Upstairs window in the back. Boys room. Watch your camera at that for a while. All right. Yeah, well, you'd figure the older part is going to be where stuff will happen. Maybe they would let. Yep, this is where the stairs are. Well, let's see if I can film. Well, they got curtains up, so I don't know if I can really see in there. Well, maybe. We'll see if there's any lights on. Yeah, it's pretty dark.
And then back here... Is where that cellar is again. I don't think we could go down in this thing. Or can we? Oh, there's somebody still inside, I think. Oh, there's people walking in there. Up here, it looks pretty creepy on the top. Yeah. There's two windows. All the windows up there, actually. Maybe those are the windows. I don't I know which ones are the boys that Well, maybe if it's one is one and one's the other, I guess. Thank you. Huh. Appreciate it. What was that? Is that an animal or free? Oh, I left some more gift stuff here. Front door here, look at it. Very inviting, too. Who's here? Speak up. There's a bird's nest, I think. Huh? Bird's nest. Right up here. Oh, I see. There's a uh, meeting minutes back in 19, I want to say it's like 1962, somewhere around that, uh, where two ladies, they were walking up the house and uh, basically they come out through this door and yep. they saw something made them look at the window and they saw two boys. This is in the meeting minutes. Oh, that they okay. saw two boys and so they went back in the house say, hey, we're closed. So they, they saw them through the windows so here? That, that window right there. Oh, that's what they saw. Okay. And so whenever you go on day tours. They tell you that the Manny family, they actually watched from that win window during the 1863 battle, July 13th, 1863 so battle. Time. But what they won't tell you is that they were not in the house during that time, so that, that's false. But the, okay. the seeing the two figures up there is true. But, wow. Yeah, so. A lot of stories. That window, and then the one in the very back. Did y'all happen to check out the back? Yeah. I was, um, I do preservation work. And I had a photograph blown up. Of course, it was about the size of my hand, but it looked like a person's face in the window where there's nothing below. There's no, there's just a little bit of a roof line. There's no way anybody can get up there, but it looks just like a face. I have no idea what's on the other side of the window, but you can tell if it's like this big and you're looking out like this. Imagine new cuss words came out of me yeah. that day. But yeah. I still would like to know what it is. If my theory is it's a cat, but I'd like to know where a cat would go. But Yeah. 
you yeah. know, I'm trying to be more scientific about it. Yeah, good luck with well. that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Honestly, my imagination won't let me. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We head out from the Oakland Mansion. I think we had some fun here. Look at the bed right here. It's pretty. Yes, I'll let us know. Yeah, I will. I definitely will. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.